Okay, that's good. What I would like, I don't know uh, what kind of tools you have. It would be nice to have two yoga blocks, but if you don't have yoga blocks, it's still fine. It's mainly for the more, much more intensive stretch. And I don't know if you have a rubber band, a soft one, you don't need, well, not, a, not a hard one. So we need something flexible unless you want you want to do something super hard <laughs> okay so i would like to start a warm-up oh yeah and maybe socks if you have socks because i have a carpet so for me the socks will be fine because we need to slide the foot so anything that or if your floor is that you are comfortable with barefoot and sliding your foot on that uh, floor, that's fine. Okay, so if you are ready, I will tell you that when you need to wear the socks at the beginning, not. So we will just start with the usual warm up. So we need to stand. I will, so we will do the, yeah, the very boring warm up. Just I want your body to do the Pavlov stuff. Okay, so when you're doing the warm up with me, your body will remember that you need to warm up. Okay, so just breathe in and out. In, in, out. One more time. Okay, so head side to side a little bit. Semi head roll four times on the slow movement. And the last one. Okay, roll your shoulders a little bit. So I would like to have a full body warm up and with your arms. Okay, shoulders forward. And with your arms. Making hands together, your wrist a little bit. Slow rotation and back. And I also would like to have your elbows. I will mute somebody, okay, and reverse. Okay, everyone is muted. It's good. And now, why struggle doing some squats? I will move my camera a little bit down. Okay, so just doing a few squats. And down, hold it. Move your hips from side to side a little bit. And hands down. Keep moving. And hold it on one side. You don't need to go deep, just keep that heel on the floor. And rotate. Push the hips a little bit down. And now extend the front leg. You can lift your toes if you need and bend. Try to straighten that front leg and bend. At the beginning, it doesn't matter if you can't straighten that leg. Just move a little bit and hold it down. Step closer with the back leg. Try to extend the two legs, hands on the floor or on the shin. Rotate in the middle, bend the other leg. Keep that heel on the floor and rotate. Hold a little bit and extend the front leg. Lift your toes if you need and bend. Extend and bend. And hold it down. Step closer with the back leg. Extend the two legs, hands on the floor or on the shin.
Rotate in the middle, hands together, twist up and down and switch. Okay, two more. Good, now go on your hands and on your knees. I will move my camera a little bit. Okay, so it's too dark. I need to wait a little bit. Okay, so just chest circles. And back. Try to roll your hips as well. And from here, happy cat, angry cat, happy cat, angry cat. And the last one. Okay, so stay on your knees and on your hands. We need to do circles with the knee. Okay, eight times backwards, eight times forwards. When you are done with the eight, eight and then switch side and eight again, backwards and forwards. If you're done with the eight eight, sit on your heels at first, just child pose. Then push your bum a little bit sideways, just your bum next to your heel or heels. And switch side. Okay, so now if you want, you can use a yoga book. Just put it next to you. Stay on your knees and on your hands. One leg will be uh, extended sideways. Well, you don't need the yoga block, just uh, it helps a little bit keep the leg a little bit higher. Okay, so what we will need, what we need to do, extend that leg, just soft touch, on the yoga block and lift. Soft touch and lift. So don't put down, just a little bit. Touch and lift eight times. Try not to bend your neck. And when you are done, switch side. And again, if you are done, sit on your heels, push your bum sideways, and stretch on the other side as well. Then from here, if you are done, Go on your forearms, okay. lay down. And so it's up to you if you, I don't know, you want to use your hands or your forearms, elbows, just leg circles. 
Thank you. Eight times and then back. Eight times. If it's done, eight times on the other side. And back. If you are done, you can bend your legs and rotate the knees from side to side. Just rolling the knees. Good. The next one, we will do the same thing, but with the extended leg. Okay, four times outwards, four times inwards. Okay, on one side. Then again, just bend your legs and roll your knees from side to side. Okay, from here we will stand. We will do some squats. Okay, at the beginning. Yes, you can drink. So if you, I hope that you have a bottle of water with you or just a glass of water, it's up to you. Okay, so uh, now what we will do uh, at the beginning, feet or hip support, and we will move the bum backwards and we will uh, bend the legs and the extend, and then at the end, squeeze your bum. And keep going down and up and squeeze. 10 times of that, please. Try to breathe. When you are done with the 10, so I'm just telling you the next one. Nine, so wide straddle. Feet rotated outwards. And we need to do a squat in that way. So we need to, so what you need to feel, pulling the tailbone down, the full body up. So you need to engage the legs and follow the, I think you can see, follow the foot with your knee. Okay, so the whole thing should be together. And you have to sit in the middle, not pushing your bum backwards, okay? So just sit in the middle and up and squeeze and squeeze. So when you are extending with your legs, squeeze your bum 10 times. Okay, if it's done, and if, if you are done, just shake your legs. And from here, what we will do, stay in your straddle position. Okay, so now feet are parallel to each other. And what we will do, you can keep the hands on your uh, hips or extending the arms next to the ears, it's up to you. And what you will do, lean forward, so tilt your upper body down and back. Just going down to horizontal or parallel and lift. Going down and lift. 
Do this one ten times again. And hold the last one down until 10 seconds. You can extend the arms if you want to increase the level of difficulty. Or you can keep the hands on your hips, up to you, or behind the body, just to be straight back. Keep the 10 seconds down. Go down fully, just uh, touch the floor, then grab the opposite elbow and smoothly swing from side to side. Okay, grab one leg, just hold a little bit. And switch side. Go to the other leg. Okay, go in the middle, bend the legs, bend your legs, sit a little bit, and again, roll your knees from side to side. Okay, what you need, you need to go again, go on your uh, forearms. Okay, and what you will do, lifting one leg, flexing your foot. I will move a little bit backwards. So, lift one leg, flex your foot, and you need to pull that leg dynamically down. Just stop it above the floor and lift and pull down. And if you're afraid of kicking the floor, use the yoga block. Okay, so lift and pull. Lift and pull. Eight times, please. I think Sam is frozen and we lost her. Not the doggy Sam. <laughs> the other Sam, we lost her. I hope that she will back. So when you are done with the eight, then eight times on the other side. Okay, she is back. Or she is she will be back soon. When the eight eight is done, you can bend your legs and roll. Is anyone else really sore today? Yeah, I'm so sore. Every yeah. day. Yoga was killing. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I heard that uh, the bar class was also killing. <laughs> so, okay, so when you are done and relapse, then go on your back. Okay, I will stay, remain in that position. Lifting the legs, okay, extended legs. We will open and close, open and close. Ten times, please. When the ten is done, you can put down your feet and rolling the knees from side to side. So all the time trying to relax in the whole system. Then we will do something similar, but just quite, quite similar. Now lifting the legs, feet together. 
you can keep the legs. You have to keep the legs bent. And what we will do, just open the knees, keep the feet together and close. Try to keep the feet over the hips. So not doing this or lifting too high, just above the hips and open and close, open and close 40 times. This one is fast. Okay, pack, 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 pack. 40 times. And it's fast. Open, close, open, close, open, close. Yes. When the 40 is done, feet down and just rolling your knees. Then roll on your side and sit. Sit in a straddle position, please. Okay, so what you will do, you can flex your feet if you want and rotating the upper body to one leg, one hand or two hands next to the, next to one leg and we will just try to move the chest closer to the knee, try to keep both, uh, both one on the floor, okay, both sides, so try not to lift, so no gap. Okay, this one is 10 times. Then hold the 10 for 10 seconds. Try to straighten your back as much as you can. Then when the 10 seconds done, engage the knee, your heel will be lifted and point and flex and point your toes. Okay, so just Flex and point, flex and point 10 times. And then hold the last one and move your chest closer to the knee and hold it again for 10 seconds. Then with your chest, just shake that leg a little bit. Then you will move on the other side. Okay, so at first, just flex your foot, two hands next to the knee, and 10 times moving your chest. Keep your bum on the floor. And hold the last one for 10 seconds. Then engage the knee, heel will be lifted and point and flex your toes 10 times. And hold the last one for 10 seconds, chest closer to the knee. This one is still just a gentle stretch, not too hard. And lift your chest, shake that leg a little bit. Then same thing in the middle, two hands in front of you. It's like push-ups. Okay, 10 times, I rotate a little bit, you'll be able to see me better. So 10 times. And hold the 10th for 10 seconds. Then engage the knees and move your feet, flex and point, flex and point. Both feet are moving. The whole foot is moving, not just the toes, okay? The whole foot. And hold the position, try to move the chest and the belly button a little bit closer to the floor. Try to straighten your back. 
Yes, a decent steel, just a gentle stretch. Okay, then you can lift your chest, shake both legs, legs, sorry. Then closing your legs, rotating a little bit from side to side. Okay, then you will need to wear the sock, okay? Only one is enough because we will work with one leg. And what you will do, so I will explain it. So one knee and the two hands will be on the floor. You can go on your forearms, up to you. If you have wrist pain, you can go on your forearms or using the yoga block and just hold yourself. Other leg will be moved sideways. And what you will do, just moving that foot sideways and pull it back. Sideways and pull it back. Okay, so this one is just a gentle, so you don't need to go down fully. Okay, so just try to move it further and pull it back. 10 times, please. And hold the last one for 10 seconds. Okay, so just holding, holding, holding. And when you are done, you can close your legs. You can sit on your bum and rolling the knees again. Okay, so this one is all the time the relaxing well, kind of exercise. Okay, so just rolling the knees, rolling. Okay, then we are done with this. And we will move to the other side. Same thing, hands or forearms and knees. Then one leg is to the sideways and slide it and back, pull it back. Slide and pull it back. Okay, 10 times. And then hold the last one for 10 seconds. Okay, again, sit and just roll your knees. All the time rolling. Then we will go on our back, lifting the legs. Now we will open the legs, okay? We will try to keep the feet in line with the hips, okay? So I'm not moving the feet forward or lifting too much, keeping everything in one line, okay? And hands on the knees and just, you can rotate, you can flex your feet if you want and just little pauses, okay? 40 times and then you need to hold the last one for 10 seconds and you need to grab the knee knees, sorry, and pull the two legs down a little bit. What are you doing, Deb? I just see that you are off and back, off and back. <laughs> I'm setting up for floor work after this. Ah, they're bringing in my stuff. <laughs> Okay, when the 10 seconds is done, just bending your legs, move the knees on the chest, 
and rolling the knees. Thank you, rotating the knees. After that, we will use our rubber bands. Okay, what we need to do with the rubber band? Just a normal rubber band. Make two little holes, okay, at the end of the rubber band. What we need to do, moving the rubber band around the body, you need to bend your legs, move one hole over your toes, and move the other one around the other foot. Okay, so now we are in this kind of uh, you know, in the not position. Then we will stay on the so the bend is around your uh, hips or waist. We will keep the hands behind the body, extending the legs, open and close, open and close, open and close. Okay, we will wait. We will wait. We will wait. So I just showed it. Okay, so what we need to do, I just want to wait for everybody. I just wanted to show that what we need to do. Thank you, let me know when you are ready. So don't, don't feel that we are in a rush. We are just I wanted to show that what we need to do. Okay, so Sammy is ready. Okay, okay, everyone is ready, that's good. Okay, so we are leaning backwards a little bit. You can be on your forearms if you want, but it will be a little bit different, but it's up to you, okay? So extending the two legs and open and close, open and close. Okay, this one is 10 times. Are you done, Sandrine, or just you are frozen? Ah, you are done. Okay, then we will bend the legs. You can move the rubber band a little bit forward and just moving the legs, moving the rolling the knees. Good. After that, we will go on our back. Okay, so moving back the rubber band behind the, the body. Now lying down, extending the two legs and open and close. Open and close. This one 10 times again. When the 10 is done, you can put down your feet on the floor and just rolling your knees. Okay, I would like to do one more round of this, but there is an option to make it a little bit uh, harder using a yoga block. Put the yoga block just under your bum, but you need to move the rubber band behind the body at first. Moving the yoga block at your bum, you need to lie down, you need to place your hips Okay, on the yoga block, extending the legs, and you can do it in that way. So you can move the feet a little bit uh, at a lower level. Okay, this one is 10 times again. Okay, so this one is slow. Try to use, try to enjoy the rubber band that it's a continuous uh, active stretch and uh, strength. Okay, and hold the last position for 10 seconds.
Okay, when it's done, try to at first lift your hips. Okay, lift your hips, take out the yoga block, feet down, and rolling your knees from side to side. Then roll on your side. You can now remove the rubber band from your feet. We will need the socks again. Now both, or well, you can place and I'm just showing what we will do. So just take your time. We will sit in a straddle position. I'm probably, we did this one together. You need to have a wider straddle as you can do. So the widest one, hands in front of you. Flexing your feet, we will bend one knee, okay? We will try to pull it behind the shoulder and extend. Lift and extend. So this one should be a slow movement and the full engage with the, with the leg. Okay, so I'm trying to show it from the side. So I'm not pulling it to my elbows. I'm pulling it where my shoulder is and behind. And extend. Pull and extend. Okay, so this one is 10 times on both sides. Yes, try to use the sock and flex your feet. Okay, so 10 times on both sides. This one is slow. You really need to feel that you're using all of the muscles in your leg. Are you okay, Kayla? <laughs> I see that you're struggling with the sock. <laughs> okay, 10 times on both sides. When it's done, then just simply shake. Again, bend your legs and rotate. After that, again, yoga block. Now we will do the froggy in that position. So what you will need to do, go on your hands, well, on your forearms and on your knee, knees. We will move one leg on the yoga block. So it's a straddle position with the knees. So I will show it from the front. Okay, so we need to make that froggy on the yoga block. You can stay on your forearms, but what would be really important, keep the knees and the hips at the same, on the same line. Okay, so try not to close the feet, open the feet. Okay, and just hold that position for 10 seconds. Then you need to move your body forward, go on your tummy, and then roll your hips. Okay, so hold the yoga block in the froggy position for 10 seconds. Try to breathe. When the 10 seconds is done, roll forward and just roll your hips. Okay, then we will do it one more time on that side. Again, knee on the yoga block, getting into froggy. Hold it for 10 seconds. Okay. 
and then move forward and roll your hips. Then get into child's pose a little bit. And let's do the whole thing on the other side twice. Okay, so froggy on the yoga block. Open your hips. Try to breathe 10 seconds. When it's done, move forwards and just roll your hips. And keep going your knees and let's do it one more time. Keep the shin or calves parallel to each other. Try to breathe. When the 10 seconds done, move your body forward and just roll your hips. Then sit in or go into child's pose, please. Just rounding your back a little bit. Okay, up. Now, you can use the two yoga blocks, okay? So you can use it under your hands if you want. So we will get into a straddle and we will lower ourselves into a middle state. So you can use the yoga blocks under your hands or you can keep your hands on the floor and support your leg with the yoga blocks, okay? It's really up to you. So what would be important that the yoga block should be closer to the pelvis area and not to the foot. Okay, so using the two yoga blocks, but it's up to you how to place them if you need support. Okay, or you can use under your hands. Okay, but at first, we are just getting into a middle split, holding ourselves. What would be important? Keeping, you can see, keeping the feet and the hips in the same line, lowering yourself at the deepest point. Okay, and just hold it for 10 seconds. When it's done, roll forward, close your legs, roll your hips again, and sit into child's pose. Okay, so you really can use the yoga block under the legs, okay, and hold yourself in that position. Okay, when you are done, just relax a little bit. We'll do two more rounds of that. Okay. 
Okay, holding the legs a little bit. I see that everyone is just sitting. We need to keep moving. Okay, let's do one more round. Now holding it for 20 seconds. Okay, so you need to count. Okay, I see that Rachel, you are uh, already in a full middle state. You can use the yoga block far from you. Feet are on the yoga block and getting into the middle split in that position. Okay, so let's do it again. Now holding it for 20 seconds. Try to breathe. Try to, every time when you breathe out, imagine that you are going down and down with few millimeters and down. Breathe in and out, and then you go down. Okay, just imagine, relax all of the muscles all of the joints, and you are going down. Sam, that's really nice. Good. OK, if the 20 seconds done, move forward and then close your legs. OK, closing, yes, at first on the floor, just rolling your hips, then get into child's pose. Then sit on your bum and rolling your legs. Okay, take your time. Just do all of the relaxing exercise. I guess Rachel with the yoga blocks, it wasn't still too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should use two on each other. Okay, so we will do two more rounds. Why we will do that? Uh, so again, 20 seconds and the second one, 30 seconds, but Maybe we should go 20-20. Okay, let's go with 20-10-20. If you want to use maybe uh, Sam with the dog and Rachel. So Rachel, you can use two yoga blocks. Sam, maybe you can try with one. Okay, so what you will need to do, only one leg is on the yoga block or yoga blocks and getting into the middle split and hold it in that position. Okay, so if you want to do a little bit more intense uh, middle split, you can try that one as well. Putting one leg on the, or one foot on a yoga block. Okay, it's really up to you. Okay, so it's a little bit further. It would be important that your ankle must be, and your heel must be supported on the yoga block. Okay, and do this middle split and hold it for 20 seconds. I just don't want to make it too long. Good. And again, the relaxing exercises, just rolling your hips from side to side, then child's pose, then rolling your knees. OK, it's up to you. What is the speed that you need for relaxing? I don't know if you have seen uh, that movie. <laughs> that was really funny. Okay, when you feel ready, okay, just when you feel ready, let's do that on the other side. One yoga block or two yoga blocks, it's up to you. For Rachel, maybe you should use five. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so again, one yoga block, or you can do it without yoga block. So you don't need to use the yoga block. Just if you want to increase the level of difficulty a little bit. Yes, you can keep it. You can support your legs, you can support your arms. It's really up to you. So 20 seconds. So this is the last round in this exercise. Try to breathe. Okay, then rolling your hips, get into chance pose, then sit and rolling your knees. Okay, you can drink a little before we do our last exercise. Not the last, but okay, then. Still straddle. Thank okay. you. You are keeping the two heels at one line, hands at your hips, and we need to push the hips a little bit forward. We need to keep the legs. You can do it at a wall if you want, but you can do it on the floor. You just need to keep in mind that the feet are not moving. We are not dropping the shoulders, okay? So I'm not rounding my back. I will, so nipples up and pushing your hips forwards, okay? So push your hips, nipples up and try to breathe and hold that position for 20 seconds. Sylvia, yeah. I feel like I'm just lifting my butt off the floor. I can't push it forward. In that position, you are lifting your bum? Yeah. Um, so what you need to feel that we are not um, lifting everything upwards. We are pushing everything forwards. Okay, so try not to, um, you know, place your weight on the arms. Just push, the belly button should be rolled down. Okay. You move your hands some little bit uh, further from the body. Yes, now pushing your hips. Okay, pull it down. You need to feel that you are pulling it down and in the same way, push it forward. Yes, it's good. Okay, just a little, just a little push, not that much, okay? Just a little one. Yes, Deb? I'm just logging in, getting ready to switch channel. <laughs> okay, then. Slowly close your legs, rolling the knees inwards. And I would like to do one more exercise. It's again, we will go on our back. So this is the last one. And now going on our back, doing again a straddle. You can point your toes or feet down hands on the knee and 
pulling it down. Okay, so this one is a continuous pulling down. You need to grab that knee and pull the legs down and breathe. Okay, count until 30 seconds. When you are done, close your legs and bend your legs smoothly. Knees to the chest or feet on the floor, rolling your knees from side to side or rolling the knees uh, above the chest. And I would like to do one more. We have two more minutes. Now this one is the same thing, just a little bit more intense. It's up to you if you want to do that. Using the yoga block. Okay, what we did with the rubber band, the same thing. Place it under your hips, the yoga block, doing this straddle position on the yoga block, hands on the knees and pulling the legs down. Okay, keep the feet in line with your hips. So it's not the pancake stretching. I hope that, uh, yeah, so if you will have a middle split class next week, we will work on the <laughs> pancake. There were 50 new cases of COVID overnight. We'll have middle splits next week. Oh. We're not reopening anytime soon. Okay, so just hold it for 30 seconds. Oh, that, this one is a really sad news. 50 new cases. What the hell? Okay, when the 30 seconds down, close your legs smoothly, bend your knees, feet down, rolling your knees from side to side. Okay, then roll on your side and sit. Again, keep moving your legs. So this will be the last, last, last because we need to finish. Okay, a little bit, cross your legs. So just sit, cross your legs. Lean forward a little bit, just a little, little, little. And then switch leg or switch legs. Lean forwards again. Okay. Roll on your knees and just breathe in and out. And one more. And stretch. And thank you so much, ladies. So see you next week with the pancake split or pancake stretching. <laughs> so thank you for coming today.